So we're gonna go to our special moves. We're gonna go to Sweet Treat. Oh, and it cures poison, apparently it says. So we tilt the joystick to the left. And, oh, we'll dodge the poison. Oh, we poison. Oh, we hit it. So we have to wait a second to throw stuff. Some more stuff. Oh, we have one. So we have a lot of stuff. That's like 9 health, 6 fire points. It's like 15 points total back. Uh, since you used a flower, or since you used one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Take a look. Alright, so we used up our star points. That's fine. Even if the gauge is empty, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience is watching your battles is very important. Hey, we have an audience of 11. If you get the audience excited, you can build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario Gumbella, try to attack me, please. You say try to attack me? Or to attack me? We'll do a head bump. Oh. Nice. See that? You've thrilled your audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. Eh, yeah, it's a small bit. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna try to do hammer, and we'll do some stylish. Oh, oh, we got stylish. That won't do. Perform like that, the audience will feel ripped off. Trust me. You have to execute action commands. Don't get stayed for right now. So we have to do good. Oh, I'm still Miss Stylish. Nice, keep building up that star power. Also, the more excited your battles are, or the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch your fight. Yeah, we're at about 16 now. As you can see, that reflecting the number of members in the audience. Outstanding. Can you guys notice how up in the top right hand underneath our coins we have two of the star symbols? So if we get a third one, I think that might just do it. Mario, this is your chance to hit it big. Now in action commands, we have two matching icons. When they appear, oh, here we go. Totally missed that. So I think we're guaranteed stars in this one, but after this, it is all just RNG, baby. So yeah, this maxes our health, our flower power, our star power, and it fills up the crowd. So like, you get like, eight different things. Easy. <laughs> Fantastic, you match three icons. When you match those icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theater. Plus, depending on icons, you'll match up your health points, flower points, star power will fill up. But if you match three poison mushrooms, something terrible will happen. So be careful. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. Uh, you can also use the appeal command to get star power. I hope you memorize this. Yep, memorized. Great Goomba's ghost, Mario. Look at your audience. Batman reference. <laughs> that guy have a, a hammer? He does. The bum, he means to toss it at you. Audience members hit you with anything, you'll take damage, obviously. Press X to stop them before they hit you. Thank you, Bella. That's right, sweet justice. You can press X to protect yourself from objects and audience throws at you. Of course, fans might toss good stuff, like coins. Don't attack them. Fair enough. Uh, well, that's all I've got here is my solicitating lectures on special moves. Let's go back inside. Cool enough. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow, that's astounding. The map has radar-like functions. It shows the location of the crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is the place we found called M Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, there's an area of vast meadows that lies far east of Rogueport. To 
tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, we'll go there. Does anyone know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd travel there instantly. Pipe travel is sufficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach. Really? Your Highness sent you this, Mario? It's Princess Peach. Wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her! <laughs> Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go down Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group thing I er, group asking about the same thing. Hmm. Can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows you go. If Princess Peach and Teep went there, your first priority is to catch up with her. Then the crystal stars means an end. Er, yeah, means to an end, and at end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old woman like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need advice, come to me. Okay. You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Alrighty. On the road again. Wait just a moment. Ooh. We got Power Smash. Hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's a scary place out there. Take this with you. I think that one's a Legend of Zelda reference. <laughs> It's called the badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badge you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip the badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No thanks. Are you absolutely sure? I'll ask, do you want practice? No thanks. By the way, you need flower power to use power smash move. In battle, you should not only watch your HP, but your FTP too. Get all that. Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to go down the panel meadows. Cool. So we're gonna equip that badge. Because... May as well, right? And then... Yeah. Let's head down the panel meadows. So it's to the east, I think he said. So we're gonna save again. Because saving is good. And we're gonna go over here. And I do believe there was an airplane thing last time. Oh, so we can get over here now. Oh, there's a Goomba down there. I think we dodged him. Oh, there's a chest up there. And there's... A tentacle there. That looks like a boat thing. Did we jump on it? That thing's kind of soggy. There's a pipe, water, big wall. Bloop, bloop. Ouch, that hurt. Oops, my bad. Oh boy. It's a big squid. There's like one, there's one person watching. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Who just up and whacked somebody tits or tootsies like that? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. Bloopity, bloop, bloop. He's in a world of hurt. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle tramp. Hey, Mara, you remember what Sir Frankly told us, right? You press Y to change our attack orders. 
HP drops. Put me in for Alright. So, we're just gonna jump. Oh, okay, so we have to do one of the tentacles. So, we'll put her up first to attack the floating one. Can we hammer the low one? Yeah, we can. Ooh, that did four damage. Look at that stylish moves. Oh, we got two crab members now. Hey, mustache. Bloop, bloop. You're thinking that tastes good, aren't you? Admit it. Bloop, bloop. Yeah, you want to snack on these tentacles, don't you? You're darn blooping. You know I'd rather bloop. I'm not a big fan of fish. Gutless punk. Well, you smacked us, have you? Alright, we'll toss her up. We'll do some damage. Oh, and he fell down. <gasps> we could get a star thing. Yeah, see, we didn't hit it. That's fine. So, we'll just hit him with the hammer. Nice and safe. Two damage. Actually, we should have done a big attack, maybe, with the big hammer. Okay, now let's do a power smash. Stylish. Oh, he's almost up in the body again. Oh, I missed. This guy has a lot of health. Ooh, big attack. I swear I tried to dodge. I'm bad at games. <laughs> Alright. So, we're gonna squash the squid. Hey! Ooh, 20 experience. Already halfway to a level up. Nice, nice. Bula, bloop. Oh, cool. So we unlocked the next way. Oh, she did. Oh, she back. Oh, she did. Oh, she <laughs> She's pretty durable. Alrighty, so we're on to chapter one. We're officially done the prologue. Castle and the Dragon. So in the coin here, there's Mario, the Princess, Bowser, a weird thing. Mario, Princess, Bowser. It looks like an infinity sign and an X on it. I'm sure it's not important. And the three other stages of the coin, like Mario, Princess, and Bowser. It's interesting. You'll see why later. <laughs> Petal Meadows. So we made it to Petal Meadows. Well, here we are, the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario. Start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Alright, so we're gonna come over here. We're gonna hit the save block. And then I'm actually gonna cut the recording here, guys. And, you know, it was a, a good first recording. And, you know, just for the prologue. Sorry, I dropped uh, my remote here. Um, for the prologue, it was pretty good. You know, it was a little bit long. Um, but you know, we're gonna take this game chunk by chunk, and we're gonna... We're gonna enjoy it. So, you know, thank you for watching, thanks for tuning in, and, um... We will continue this another time. Alright, cheers guys.